chimp crazy fun facts that you didn't know about the HBO Max series. Number one, it's connected to the Tiger King series. An Oklahoma man who goes by the name Joe Exotic. I am never going to financially recover from this. It's the same director. He actually, in the series, he had to essentially sub out his work because he was so well known from that series. Um, he couldn't actually put his own face out there because nobody would talk to him. I don't know how people find these. I, I don't know how these things come about. It always winds up being the same kind of person. It's almost like toxic empathy. Anyway, back to Tonka, the main character, I should say, uh, was in several movies, George of the Jungle in 1997. It was a, a pretty, I don't know if it was a flop or not. <laughs> 97 was a long time ago. That's when I started riding BMX. Anyway, he was also in Babe, Pig in the City. That was another one in 1998, but there were several other appearances that he was in. It was actually a big thing. I don't think you can actually do chimps in movies anymore. I think it has to be fake. I don't know, it's something to do with PETA. <laughs> Alan Cummings' connection. Uh, he actually did a film, Buddy, with Tonka, and I, he claims that he had like a deep relationship with the chimp. And, that may be so, but everyone seems to think that they have like this human relationship with these animals, but it always winds up being the same thing. At the end, somebody gets mauled. I Spoiler alert. At the end, somebody gets mauled. Actually, someone in the middle gets mauled where they get their almost killed. Someone, I think, does get killed. The main character that the story is about that actually ruins this whole series gets mauled. I think that this show would have been longer like Tiger King had it not gone in the direction that it did where it would have been a legal issue. Tanya, the central character, was known as the Dolly Parton of chimps. She essentially worked behind the scenes in this like an underground market for selling animals just like in Tiger King. I, I want to see what else is going to go on with these people. So what I think about it, I thought it was a great documentary. I like the the storytelling, obviously, it's there's a story to it, so there's probably a little bit of a massaging to make the story kind of fit. But um, for some reason, and I know I'm probably getting a lot of hate for this, but some people really think that they can domesticate these animals. We're not talking about dogs and cats here. We're talking about chimpanzees. We're talking about tigers. We're talking about animals that have a deep instinct um and are very very powerful like i said these these stories all wind up being the same thing and it's always someone who is overly mothering that is like missing out on that connection with family oh even even the main character tanya she's like she has a connection she has a kid but she ignores him he's not planning to go by and the fact that she lies to hide this chimp. Uh, if you had a documentary team, not like a YouTube channel like this, but like a documentary team show up at your house and follow you around for months and you started sharing legal secrets, like why would you not think that that's not gonna get out? crazy to me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.